Hello friends, welcome to my channel. And in my previous video, I have solved the problems from exercise 18 and, and the problems are question number 1 to question number 6. And today, I will solve the problems starting from question number 7. Okay. So, let's start. At first, I write down the problem. And so, what we will do? We will convert 65 to 25. So, we can write it as 10, 25 degree divided by cosec 90 minus 25 degree. Okay. Plus cot 25 degree divided by sec of 90 minus 25 degree okay plus and here it is 2 10 18 degree 10 45 means 1 and 10 72 degree can be written as 10 90 minus 18 degree why we change it because tan of 90 degree minus theta means cot theta cot theta and tan theta reciprocal so it will be cross out that purpose I convert 1072 degree into cot 18 degree. Okay. It will be 10 square 25 degree divided by it will be cosec 90 minus theta means sec. So it will be sec square 25 degree plus it will be cot square 25 degree divided by it will be sec of 90 minus theta means cosec 25 degree and here it is squared so it will be cosec square 25 degree plus 2 10 18 into it will be change into cot 18 degree next step it will be 10 means sine square 25 degree divided by cos square 25 degree and divided by sec square so it will be reverse and therefore cos square will be here and one will be denominator similarly it will be cos square 25 degree divided by sin square 25 degree into divided by cosec square so it will be sin square divided by 1 plus here it is 2 and here it is tan 18 degree and cot 80 degree both are reciprocal so this will be cross out we can write it as 1 so therefore we can cross out cos cos here sin sin so here we get sin square 25 degree plus cos square 25 degree plus 2. We know that the value of sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So it can be written as 1 plus 2. So it will be 3 and this is the answer. Okay. So in problem number 2 you can see here it is cos square 25 degree and it is cos square 65 degree. So, in both the case, they are the values of theta are different. Now, I will convert uh, cos 65 degree to sin 25 degree. And how can I do it? At first, cos square 25 degree. Therefore, we can write it as cos square 90 minus 25 degree. Okay. Similarly, it will be cosec theta and sec of 90 minus theta means cosec theta minus cot theta 90 minus theta means of course it will be cot theta. Therefore, cos square 25 degree plus it will be sin square 25 degree. And here we can write it cosec square theta minus 
odd square theta. Here we know the value of this identity and it is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 and in that case the value of this identity is also 1. So the answer will be 2. Okay. And the next problem is prove the following 8 to 26 identities where the angles involved are acute angles for which the trigonometric tree ratio as defined. Take a plus tan a into 1 minus sin a is equal to cos a. We have to prove it. Okay. So therefore, this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side. We have to prove left hand side is equal to right hand side. So here left hand side in left hand side we take a plus tan a here 1 minus sin a and it is simple at first we multiply sec a to 1 minus sin a so it will be sec a minus sec a sin a and then tan a with 1 minus sin a so it will be tan a minus tan a into sin a and here it will be sec a minus sec a into sin a sec a means 1 by cos so it will be tan a sin a by cos a will be tan a and here it is tan a and here you can see tan a into sin a tan a means 1 by cos a into sin a so we can here we can write it as tan a means sin a divided by cos a into sin a okay so it will be take a here minus tan a plus tan a so it will be cross out and here we get 1 by cos a means take a and sin a into sin a it will be sin square a and here we take the common term sec a so sec a will be common then we get 1 minus sin square a and we take sec a into cos square a so we can write it as sec a means 1 by cos a cos square a divided by cos a will be cos a and this is the right hand side so we can write and the next problem is 1 plus tan square a into 1 minus sin a into 1 plus sin a is equal to 1 we have to prove it so left hand side is equal to 1 plus tan square a into 1 minus sin a into 1 plus sin a here you can see we know the formula a plus b into a minus b will be a square minus b square so we use this identity here so it will be 1 plus tan square a into 1 minus sin square a and it will be 1 plus tan square a into 1 minus sin square a means cos square a so we can write it as cos square a plus tan square means sin square a divided by cos square a into cos square a here cos square a will be cross out so here we get cos square a plus sin square a and it is 1 so therefore it will be right hand side and it is proved The next problem is tan a plus cot a is equal to sec a plus cosec a. So here I have already write it left hand side is equal to tan a plus cot a. We can convert it as tan a means sin a by cos a. Okay. And cot a will be cos a by sin a. 
So here cos a into sin a will be the LCM. So here we get sin square a plus cos square a. It is the identity and the value of it 1 divided by cos a into sin a. Okay. We have to prove it sec a into cos a. 1 by cos a means sec a and 1 by sin a means cos a is equal to right hand side. Very easy problem. Okay. Next one is 1 minus cos a into 1 plus sec a. We have to prove it will be tan a into sin a. Okay. 1 minus cos a. We can write it as 1 into at first I will multiply 1 into 1 plus sec a. So it will be 1 plus sec a. Next cos a cos a into 1. So it will be minus cos a and then sec a into cos a. These are reciprocal. So it will be minus 1. Here 1 minus 1 will be cross out. Next here we get sec a minus cos a. Sec a means 1 by cos a minus cos a. So it will be 1 minus cos square a. 1 minus cos square a means sin square a. And therefore sin square a by cos a. We have to prove tan a into sin a. So here it will be sin a by cos a into sin a. So it will be tan a sin a by cos a means tan a into sin a. And it is proved. So we can write it as right hand side or proved. Of course here we also write it here left hand side. Okay. Now we will solve problem number 10 1. Here you can see cot square a minus cos square a is equal to cot square a into cos square a. We have to prove it. So in left hand side you can see it can be written as cos square a divided by sin square a. Okay. And here it is minus cos square a. Okay. Here cos square is equal to common. So we take it as common cos square a. Therefore, here it is 1 by sin square a minus 1 and it is cos square a into 1 by sin square means cos x square a minus 1 cos square a cos x square minus 1 is equal to cot square. So, here I write it as cot square a. Here you can see we have to prove it. So, it is proved. It is very easy problem. Okay. Next one is number 2. 1 plus tan square a divided by 1 plus sec a is equal to sec a. We have to prove it. Okay. In problem number 2, uh, the problem is 1 plus tan square a divided by 1 plus sec a is equal to sec a. We have to prove it. Okay. It can be written as sec square a minus 1. Here it is 1 plus sec a. Okay. Here it can be written as 1 plus sec a plus 1 into sec a minus 1 divided by 1 plus sec a. That is the formula a square minus b square means a plus b into a minus b. Okay. So here you can see sec a plus 1 in denominator here it is also 1 plus sec a means sec a plus 1. So this one will be cross out and we can write it as 1 plus sec a minus 1 and it is sec a. 
So it is proved. So it is proved. You may here write it as left hand side or it is equal to right hand side. Okay. Next one is 1 plus sec divided by sec. If we divide it, then we can get 1 by sec plus 1. 1 by sec means cos a. So it will be cos a plus 1. Okay. We write it as 1 plus cos a. Now we multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 minus cos a. 1 minus cos a. Here you can see we have to prove sin square a divided by 1 minus cos a. How can I get sin square a? Here you can see 1 minus cos square a means sin square a. So for that purpose we multiply the denominator and numerator by 1 minus cos a. So it will be 1 minus cos square a divided by 1 minus cos a. 1 minus cos square a means sin square a divided by 1 minus cos a and it is root. Okay. Next one is sin a divided by 1 minus cos a. It is just similar as the above problem. So you will do it in your home. Okay. It is your homework. Okay. You have to multiply numerator and denominator by 1 plus cos a. Then you get your answer. Okay. Now we will solve problem number 11. And first one you can see we have to prove sin a divided by 1 plus cos a is equal to 1 minus cos a divided by sin a. Okay. You have just, you will just multiply numerator and denominator by 1 minus cos a. Then we will get the answer. Okay. So you will do it in your home. It will be your homework. If you face any problem to do this, you can make a comment in the comment box. I will help you to do this problem. Okay. Next one. Number 2. Here you can see 1 minus tan square a divided by cot square a minus 1 is equal to tan square a. Here you will do just convert cot a to 1 by tan a. You just put it here. Then obviously you get the result. So it is you also do it in your home. Just at first try and then make a comment that I cannot do this problem. Okay. Then I will solve this problem. So now we will do problem number 3. And it is sin a. I will do it for you. Sin a divided by 1 plus cos a. It is similar as 1 and 2. Here also just like 1 we have to multiply numerator and denominator by 1 minus cos a. So we multiply numerator and denominator by 1 minus cos a, 1 plus cos a, 1 minus cos a divided by 1 minus cos a and it will be sin a divided by 1 minus cos a. So here 1 plus cos a into 1 minus cos a means 1 minus cos square a. Because a plus b into a minus b will be a square minus b square. So it will be sin a into 1 minus cos a divided by it will be sin square a. So it will be sin a. Then you have to divide 1 minus cos a by sin a. 1 minus sin a means cos a k minus cos a by sin a means cot a. Okay. And this is your answer. So you can write it as and here you can put left hand side and you have to write root. Okay. Now we will solve problem number 12 and the first problem is uh, sec a minus 1 divided by sec a plus 1. It is very easy. Just as sec a means 1 by cos a minus 1 divided by 
ठीक है प्लस वन इट विल बी वन बाय कॉस ए प्लस वन यू कैन राइट इट एस वन माइनस कॉस ए बाय कॉस ए एंड इट विल बी कॉस ए विल बी द एलसीएम सो इट विल बी कॉस ए डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस कॉस ए ओके कॉस ए कॉस ए भेनिश देन यू कैन राइट इट एस वन माइनस कॉस ए Divided by one plus cos, and I have proved it. Okay, it is very easy. <laughs> These problems are important because it is came in uh, the exam two thousand seven and it is two thousand twelve and it is two thousand five. The next one is tan square theta divided by sec theta minus one. Whole square. Okay, we can write it as sine square theta divided by cos square theta. And here we can write it as convert it one by cos theta minus one. Then it will be sine square theta divided by cos square theta divided by one. Minus cos theta whole square divided by cos square theta. So after division, the cos square theta will be vanish. So we get sin square theta means one minus cos square theta. Okay, and here we get one minus cos theta whole square. Okay. One minus cos square theta means a square minus b square, so it will be one plus cos theta into one minus cos theta divided by one minus cos theta whole square. Here it will be vanished, so it will be one minus cos theta. So here we get one plus cos theta divided by one minus cos theta. We have to prove it. So we can write it as right hand side. Carry right, left hand side, and this root. Okay. Now we solve problem number three. Problem number three. Here you can see one plus ten a whole square plus one minus ten a whole square is equal to two six square. You know the formula very well. A plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square is equal to two into a square plus b square. We just use the formula here. So one plus ten a whole square plus one minus ten a whole square. So it is just similar as this formula. So it will be two into One plus ten square, okay, and one plus ten square means six square. So it is proved. Okay, number four. It is also very easy. You have just convert the sec into one by cos and cos convert into one by sin. Then you do the LCM and after division you will get the result. So you will do it in your home. So it will be your homework. Next we will solve problem number thirteen, and the uh, problem is thirteen one one plus sine divided by cos a plus cos a divided by one plus sine is equal to two sec. Then what we will do? It is just at first we make a LCM in the left hand side. So it will be cos a. Into one plus sine. It is the LCM in the left hand side. Therefore, it will be one plus sine whole square plus cos into cos. Therefore, it will be cos square. Next, we can write it as one plus two sine plus sine square. Plus cos square divided by 
cosine to 1 plus sin a. Here sin square a plus cos square a, therefore it will be 1. Then we can write it as 1 plus 2 sin a plus 1 divided by cos a into 1 plus sin a. Okay. Then 1 plus 1 means it will be 2. We take 2 as common, therefore it will be 1 plus sin a divided by cos a into 1 plus sin a. Here we cross out, therefore it will be 2 by cos a means it is 2 sec a. Therefore it will be the right hand side. To prove it, so here we have to write root. Okay, at first you will write the problem here, then start the problem. So here it will be left hand side. Okay, next problem number two. Here it is given 10a divided by sec a minus 1 plus 10a divided by sec a plus 1. Here 10a is common in both the case. So we take 10a as common. Therefore it will be 1 divided by sec a minus 1 plus 1 divided by sec a plus 1. So the LCM will be sec a minus 1 into sec a plus 1. So it will be sec a plus 1 plus sec a minus 1. And we can write it as 10a into here 1 minus 1. So it will be vanish. Then here we get 2 sec a. And in the denominator, it will be sec square a minus 1. Okay, so it will be uh, tan a into 2 sec a divided by sec square a minus 1 tan square a. Therefore, it will be tan a. Now, 2 sec a means 1 by cos a and 1 by tan a means sin a by cos a means it will be reverse. Then in numerator will be cos a, in denominator sin a, cross out cos a. Therefore, 2 by sin a means 2 cos a. Look at the problem. Yes, this is the right hand side. So we can write it as right hand side and it is proved. Okay. Here you write left hand side. Okay. Next problem number 14 1. Look at the problem. Cosec divided by cosec minus 1 plus cosec divided by cosec plus 1 is equal to 2 sec square a. It is just as problem number 13 2. So you will do it in your home. Okay. It is your homework. Next number 14 2 and the problem is cot a minus tan a is equal to 2 cos square a minus 1 divided by sin a into cos a. So left hand side I have write it here cot a minus tan a. We can write it as cot a means cos a divided by sin a. Okay. Tan a means sin a divided by cos a. So here LCM will be sin a into cos a. So cos a into cos a it will be cos square a. We can write it as cos square a minus sin square a. Now, here you can see, here you can see in the right hand side, 
the numerator is 2 cos square a so we convert sin square a into cos square a okay so cos square a minus sin square a means sin square a means 1 minus cos square a divided by sin a into cos a here you can see it will be minus minus plus so it will be 2 cos square a minus 1 divided by sin a into cos a it is right hand side and it is proved okay next we will solve problem number 3 and the problem is cot a minus 1 divided by 2 minus x square a is equal to cot a divided by 1 plus tan a. We have to prove it. So, it will be cot a cot a minus 1 divided by. Here in denominator you see it is given tan a. So, here we convert the 6 square a into tan square a. So, it will be 6 square a means 1 plus 10 square a. So, 1 plus 10 square a. You can write it the identity since. Okay. So, it will be we can write it as cot a minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 means 1. 1 minus 10 square a. In the numerator it is what a means 1 by 10a minus 1 divided by 1 minus 10 square a. So, we can write it as 1 minus 10a by 10a. Now, in the denominator it is given 1 minus 10 square a means 1 plus 10a into 1 minus 10a we cross out this 2. So, here we get 1 by 10a means cot a divided by 1 plus 10a and you can see here. So, we have proved the identity. Okay. Now, I will solve problem number 16 and the problem is uh, cosec to the power 4 theta minus cosec square theta is equal to cot to the power 4 theta plus cot square theta. So, I have already write down the problem and it, so here at first I take cosec square theta as common. So, here it will be cosec square theta minus 1. Okay. And cosec square theta means 1 plus cot square theta. Okay. And cosec square theta minus 1 means cot square theta ok so it will be after multiplication we get cot square theta plus cot to the power cot theta ok so we get right hand side and it is proved next problem number 2 here you can see in problem number 2 2 6 square theta minus 6 to the power 4 theta minus 2 cos x square theta plus cos x to the power 4 theta is equal to cot to the power 4 theta minus 10 to the power 4 theta. Okay. So, here at first we convert all this sec and cos into 10 and cot. Okay. So, here at first here we take 6 square theta as common. So, it will be 2 minus 6 square theta and from here we take common cos x square theta. So, it is 2 minus cos x square theta. Okay. Next, you can see sec square theta into 2 minus sec square theta. So, sec square theta means sec square theta means what? 1 plus tan square theta and cos x square theta. It is the same we can write it as 2 minus 
और स्कोस एक्स का थीटा मीन्स वन प्लस और स्क्वायर थीटा तो नाउ वी कॉन्फर्ट सिक्स स्क्वायर थीटा इनटू टेन स्क्वायर थीटा सो इट विल बी वन प्लस टेन स्क्वायर थीटा एंड हियर इट इज वन माइनस टेन स्क्वायर थीटा Similarly, here cos square theta means one plus cot square theta, and from here one minus cot square theta. Here it will be a plus b into a minus b, so it will be a square minus b square. That is one minus ten to the power fourth theta. Okay. Similarly, here one minus one plus cot square theta into one minus cot square theta. It will be one minus cot to the power Four theta. It will be what? One minus ten to the power four theta minus one plus cot to the power four theta. So it will be cot to the power four theta minus ten to the power four theta. Okay. So we have proved, and we can write it as right hand side. If we write it right hand side, so here we have to write. Left hand side. So it is root. The problem is important. Okay. It's problem number seventeen. I have already write down the problem. And the problem is one plus cos theta minus sine square theta divided by sine theta into one plus cos theta equal to cot theta. We have to prove it. So at first we convert the sine square theta into cos square theta. So it will be one plus cos theta. Sin square theta means one minus cos square theta. One minus cos square theta divided by sin theta into one plus cos theta. Okay. So here you can see one minus cos cos square theta means one plus cos theta into one minus cos theta. So we can take common one plus cos theta. So one plus cos theta is common. So it will be one minus one minus cos theta minus and minus. It will be plus cos theta. Okay, divided by sine theta into one plus cos theta. I have make a step jump here. If you have difficulties, then you can make a step in between. Okay. Now one plus cos theta and one plus cos theta. So it will be vanish. And above we get cos theta divided by sine theta. And it will be cot theta. So it is right hand side, and we can write root. Next to solve problem number two. Here left hand side is equal to tan cube theta minus one divided by tan theta minus one. Here you can see tan cube theta minus one. So we can uh, consider one as one cube. So here we get a formula a cube minus b cube. It will be A minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. Can you recognize this formula? Yes, this is the factorization formula of the form a cube minus b cube. So here we put this formula. So tan cube theta minus one means one cube. So we can write it as a minus b. Here a is tan theta. So it is. Tan theta minus one into a square plus a b into b square. Here a is tan theta, so it will be tan square theta plus tan theta into one means tan theta plus one divided by tan theta minus one. It will be vanish. So here we get one plus tan square theta means six square theta. Okay, so we can write it. Six square theta plus tan theta. Can you follow? Yes, this is the right hand side. So we write it right hand side, and this is proved. Okay.
Now we will solve problem number 18 and the problem is 1 plus cos a k divided by cos a k is equal to cos square a divided by 1 minus sin a. It is very easy problem. So, so here I write it left hand side is equal to 1 plus cos a k divided by cos a k. So, we divide it and it will be 1 by cos a k and cos a k cos a k means it will be 1. Okay. And we can write it as 1 by cos a k means sin a sin a plus 1. Okay. Now we can write it as in this way. Now you can see in the problem in the right hand side it is cos x cos square a divided by 1 minus sin a. So, so I think you can understand that you have to multiply numerator and denominator by 1 minus sin a because in the right hand side denominator it is 1 minus sin a is present. So, we have we will uh, multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 minus sin a. So, here we multiply numerator and denominator by 1 minus sin a. Okay. So, it will be a plus b into a minus b. So, it will be 1 minus sin square a divided by 1 minus sin a. 1 minus sin square a means cos square a divided by 1 minus sin a. So, it is right hand side and obviously it is root. Now, in problem number 2, you can see root over 1 minus cos a divided by 1 plus cos a is equal to sin a divided by 1 plus cos a and you can see in the right hand side, it is given 1 plus cos a. Okay. So, we have to find out 1 plus cos a in the denominator. How can we get it? If we multiply numerator and denominator by 1 plus cos a, then in the denominator will be 1 plus cos a whole square. Then after root over, it will be 1 plus cos a. So, in this way, I will solve this problem. So, 1 minus cos a into 1 plus cos a divided by 1 plus cos a into 1 plus cos a. We multiply, you can write it here. We can we multiply numerator and denominator by 1 plus cos a. Okay. Therefore, it will be 1 minus cos a into 1 plus cos a. Obviously, it will be 1 minus cos square a. And in the denominator, it will be 1 plus cos a whole square. And you know that 1 minus cos square a is equal to sin square a. After root, after root over, it will be sin a. And in the denominator, it will be 1 plus cos a. Okay. So, it is root. You can write it as right hand side. Here it is left and right. So, it is root. Okay. Next problem is problem number 19, 19, 1. Here we, here we have to prove root over 1 plus sin a divided by 1 minus sin a is equal to tan a plus sec a. It is just similar as the previous problem. Just you have to multiply numerator and denominator by 1 plus sin a. And 1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a. So, it will be 1 plus sin a whole square. After root over it will be 1 plus sin a. And here 1 minus sin a into 1 plus sin a it will be 1 minus sin square a. 1 minus sin square a means cos square a. And after root over it will be cos a. And after division 1 by cos a will be sec a plus sin a by cos a it will be tan a. So, it is proved. And problem number 2 is just similar as 19 1. So, you will do it in your home. It is your homework. Now, I will solve problem number 20 and the problem is sec a minus 1 divided by sec a plus 1 plus root over sec a plus 1 divided by sec a minus 1 is equal to 2 cos sec a. I have already write down the problem. So, here how can I do it? Here I make a LCM root over sec a plus 1 into root over sec a minus 1. So, here you can see multiply 
root over sec a minus 1 into sec a minus 1 it will be sec a minus 1 whole square obviously root over sec a minus 1 whole square then the square root will be vanish and we can write it as sec a minus 1 similarly it will be sec a plus 1 then it will be 2 sec a divided by root over sec a plus 1 into root over sec a minus 1 so the formula is a square minus b square so in the denominator it will be sec square a minus 1 and it is sec a ok now 2 sec a 2 sec a means 2 by cos a ok now here it is sec square a minus 1 means tan square a so root over tan square a means 1 by tan a 1 by tan a now we can write it as 2 by cos a into divided by sin a by cos a so cos a will be go in the numerator so here cos a cos a will vanish 2 by sin a means 2 cosec a so here we get the right hand side here we write right hand side and we write it here it is proved ok similarly in problem number 2 what we will do here you can see in the denominator is 1 minus sin a but in the right hand side here is there is no denominator so what we will do we will vanish the denominator by which you can vanish it just see cos a into cot a now we will multiply by numerator and denominator by 1 plus sin a then it is 1 plus sin a and here it is also 1 plus sin a now you can see in the denominator 1 plus sin a into 1 minus sin, minus sin a means 1 minus sin square a so it will be cos square a and in the above it will be 1 plus sin a divided by cos square a into we write this part here cos a into cot a now we can see cos a to cos square a so here cos a will be remaining and you can see that here it is 1 plus sin a divided by cos a and cot a means cos a by sin a so from here cos a will be finished so after division we will get 1 by sin a means cos a k plus sin a by sin a means 1 so we get the right hand side we can write it as 1 plus cos a k and it is the right hand side so you can write it as right hand side and it is proved so today up to here in the next part i will solve the remaining problem so if you like my teaching then press the like button and subscribe my channel your subscription motivate me to do more classes or more videos for you okay so Stay with me. Goodbye.